How many times in life do problems show up for you? It's like you just keep getting hit one problem after another after another. It's like they just stack up. It's like you wonder, when will this ever end? My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today I want to share with you in our video how to quickly solve any problem in your life or business. The other day I was sharing with a client, I said there's only three things that are guaranteed in life. Death, taxes, and problems slash challenges, right? Like, and change, right? Like those three things are guaranteed. We're always gonna have change and problems in our life. It's just the way things are. And as you progress to the next level in life, I always like to say at every new level, there's a new devil, right? And while I'm not here to talk to you about a spiritual side of the house here, although we can make another video about that around problems and why they happen and how they show up and, and what you believe about that. However, today I just want to keep it simple. And it's like I share on any YouTube channel I go on or any podcast that I'm on and getting interviewed, I say the same thing. If you would just feed your brain more than you feed your body, your life will go in an entirely different direction. Right? And so why is that? Because we have the same 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day for the most part. They're all like recycled thoughts. We keep thinking the same things and we keep doing the same things. And that's the definition of insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. It doesn't work like that. And that's why when people have problems in their life, they never solve them. Therefore, they start stacking up one after another after another because they keep thinking the same way and doing the same thing and getting the same output, the same results, which is nothing. And when those re those problems stack up, they feel stressed, they feel overwhelmed. And the Eventually, if you're just like anyone and the human nervous system can't take enough stress, that's why we have nervous breakdowns and all, but eventually you just kind of shut down. You're just like, screw it, I'm done. But if you're a high performer, if you're a high achiever, you want success, that recipe doesn't work. It's not going to allow you to succeed. But I'm going to share with you three little points that are going to help you solve any problem quickly in either life or business. And so I want to bring it to you from more of a um, principle standpoint. So let's dive in. The first thing is, if you're going to solve any problem or challenge in your life, you have to understand that over the thousands of years that man has been on this earth, and woman, right, or woman, so, <laughs> inside joke, right, uh, government politics. Anyway, with that, if you're going to solve any problem, you got to find who's had this problem before and has solved this problem. Right, 95% of problems out there, they're just, every, people have had those same challenges in the past. Maybe packaged a little bit different, but they've gone through the same thing and overcame it. And so you wanna look at who's done this because those people who have overcome, they've told stories about it. They've written books about it. They made YouTube videos about it. They have audible books about it, right? Like, they share, why do people write books? at least in the personal development space, is because they overcame a challenge or a problem and they want to share how they did that with others so that they can make other people's lives better. So they can fold up or fold time for people. They could shorten the pain gap that they're in, right? And so if you want to solve any problem in your life or your business, I guarantee you that there's somebody out there who has went through that problem, who has went through that challenge. Maybe you're, you're in a challenge in your relationship. It's on the verge of divorce or break up. Maybe it's your business is cash flow is tight. You don't know how to get over that, how to be able to invest more money into your business because you need it for products or services to continue. Or maybe it's your body. You just can't seem to release that weight. I, I promise you there's a solution. See, I hold a belief that there's always a way. When it comes to medical challenges, I have some personal health stuff going on that I'm working on and it may seem like the report is like, oh my gosh, like this could be the end. But it's like, hell no, there's always a way. And when you carry that belief that there's always an answer, then you can easily go find that. So go get into books, go get into forums, go get into, um, I'll say certain magazines or blogs Dogs, right you got to be careful because <clears throat> some people they just kind of they just want to make money so they just write stuff and some of it's not even legitimate right so anyway but beware right most of the content out there the intention is good and to serve you but beware of it all right so you got to find who solved your problem before and go find out what did they do to have the success that they had 
Second, you have to learn. Once you solve that problem, you have to learn from what happened. Because I can't tell you how many times in my own personal life, I had a situation, I overcame it, but I didn't take the lesson away. And guess what happened? It came back, right? Whether that was in dating, my body, my finances, right? Like it's so easy for us to go into credit card debt, for example, and then all of a sudden you, you pay off your credit card, but you didn't learn the lesson. So what do you do? You go back up and rack more credit card debt. I, I had over $30,000 credit card debt and I did it three times. And as I tell my clients, I like to think I'm an overachiever. I don't do things once or twice. I got to do it three times, right? And so you got to take the lesson away because what happens is it shortens the pain gap for you. And when you go to repeat it, if you do at all, right? If you do go repeat it, you now have that lesson and you can be like, oh, I'm gonna stop right here. And you don't have to go fall so far down the path. You could stop a quarter of the way or a tenth of the way and be, learn your lesson and be like, oh yeah, I gotta stop you know, swiping the credit card. Let me pay cash, bam, right? And I'm not talking about finances here. I use my credit card instead of cash and ca people say cash is king. I made a video on why cash is not king. Go ahead and check that out in the, uh, in, on the video tab uh, on Master Life by Design here. But with that being said, you gotta take the learning lesson. Once you have that lesson, you can prevent future pain and how long you're in that pain for. So I would highly recommend when you have a breakthrough, when you learn from someone who's had the, the outcome and the overcame the challenge or problem that you face, what was the lesson there? What did you take away? I'd write that down and remind yourself often so you don't repeat that same mistake. The last part is you got to be grateful for that problem. Most people are like, I don't want that problem. They resist it. They resist problems or challenges. And that's the problem, is people think they shouldn't have problems. And that's a huge problem, because we're all gonna have problems. Problems are not there to make your life complicated and painful. Problems are there to help you grow. So we wanna be grateful for the challenge because it's causing you to grow, to become someone more, to become someone better, to become someone bigger in your character, your values, your principles, your morals. So problems are actually extremely helpful. Now, do we like going through it? No way, the pain sucks. It's just like going to the gym. I don't like getting up at three, four in the morning to go to the gym and going through and crushing my body and you know running hard and going up hills. I don't like that, it's painful. But the reward is way better. When you're done, when you've gone through the pain, it's way better. You become someone more, you look better, you feel better, you're proud of yourself, right? You grow. You wanna share gratitude for those problems. I can't tell you how grateful for the problems that I've had in my life, from being almost $40,000 in credit card debt, to being in and out of relationships, getting cheated on, to having bad health. I can't tell you how grateful I am for those things because I've learned from them. I've gotten into better shape. I've cleared up my finances in a way better position. I'm married to a gorgeous woman and have two beautiful kids, all because of the pain I went through. I'm grateful for those because if I didn't have those moments, I wouldn't be who I am today. And if you look back in your life, the pain that you've gone through, you wouldn't be as strong, as powerful of a person as you are today. So we want to share our gratitude for our problems. Doesn't mean we're calling more problems on like, God, universe, higher power, please give me more problems. That's not the goal. Trust me, they will come, right? And at every new level, there's a new devil. They will naturally happen. But you get to decide how long do you spend in them? How deep do you go in that problem? And it's up to you. You gotta learn the lesson, but you wanna quickly find out who has the solution for, to the problem you've had and how did they overcome it so you can do it quickly. And then give gratitude for it once you've come through it. Because what you resist persists. And what you're grateful for, you send out that energy of who you became and you just it causes you to grow, to be more proud of yourself. So as we wrap up here, my biggest advice is don't go reinvent the wheel. Go on YouTube, go on blogs, go on forums, find out who's done it. Audiobooks, that's my favorite. You know why I love it? And I'll post a link to Audible because I love Audible. And you guys can get any books you, you want. You can do a free trial. And what I love about Audible, it's kind of like a library, right? Where you can buy a book. I do the $14.95 monthly subscription or whatever it costs. And you get one free book a month. 
But on that membership is when you listen to a book and you complete it, say you finish a book in three days, you can go return it for free and get another book. Even though you only pay $14.95 for one credit, you can exchange books as much as you want, which is really freaking cool. And then the next month you have a second credit and you can do two books, right? And so it's a really cool program. I'll post a link so you can get a free trial. Check it out, I love it. The other reason why I love it is because I can sit here and listen to someone on a YouTube channel, which is great, but on an Audible, I usually listen on 2X, sometimes 2.5X. So if a book is 10 hours and I listen on it at 2X, I finish that book in five hours. And if I'm doing yard work or cutting the grass or I'm working out, cardio, running, whatever, taking a shower, I can put that audiobook on while I'm doing that and soak in the information to find a solution to my problems a lot faster. And if you want a second tip, you know what you do? You anticipate what problems could come, right? What are the challenges? Oh, I started a business. Well, I might have to pay a shit ton in taxes, okay? Well, what if you started learning about how to mitigate taxes, how to reduce taxes? What if you listen to an audiobook, a YouTube show around taxes, a podcast? All of a sudden, you're gonna be like, oh wow, if I would invest my profits in real estate, I not only could I have an asset, but I'll pay less taxes. That's brilliant. Right, or I could do tax deductions if I spend more money in marketing and ads, not only can I create more, but I'll be able to deduct more. And it's like, wow. So you wanna be able to find out these things by anticipating what challenges can come up. With one of my clients that's been with me for about eight years now, he's extremely successful, we have what we call anticipation day, where it literally takes an entire day, look at his business, review it, but anticipate what are the challenges, what are the problems that can come up for him in his business. And as he does that, what, allow, what that allows him to do is it allows him to get clear on what those potential problems are and how to solve them before they even show up. Could you imagine being prepared ahead of time for a problem? You don't have to spend as much time in the pain and go as deep in the pain as most people do. And you've probably been there at some point in your life. So anticipate your problems ahead of time. Go get the knowledge and the wisdom through these resources to help you. So with that, I hope you found value in this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. On um, what do you use? What are some ways you overcome your problems? I'd love to hear that. Most importantly, subscribe to this channel because we're coming out with three videos every single week in the areas of personal development, relationship, and business and finance. And so I try to make it hit all points in all each video, but sometimes that's not always possible. So tune in for that. And if you know someone that's having a lot of problems, do them a favor, share this video with them. And then give them the link in the comments below, in the description below, and let them get on Audible for free so that they can start getting some good information, feeding their brain. Remember I said if you feed your brain more than you feed your body, your life will go in an entirely different direction. Help them out, share this video with them. And lastly, I'll say this. If you're one of those people who are having a ton of problems, you're, you're feeling stuck, you know, no matter what you do, you just can't break through, reach out. We wanna be able to help you with coaching. There's a link in the description on how you can work with us one-on-one -on -one with myself, my gorgeous wife, or one of our coaches to help you break free. Because sometimes we have these blinders on as we go through life, and we can't see that there's these problems on the outside here. We all have blind spots. And so a coach can come from that thousand foot view that can see everything around and be able to point out those challenges that you may not be able to see. And when you can see them, them, you can get rid of them and when you get rid of them you can go faster and when you go faster you go further so if you're one of those people who you're just like you're fed up you're tired you're like I don't care how much it costs I don't care what I need to do I'm sick and tired of being where I am I want success I want a breakthrough I'm tired of living this way go ahead and fill out that form below for the one-on-one -on -one coaching the application so that we can get back to you and find out hey where are you how can we help how can we serve you because I remember what it was like to be broke in and out of relationships and eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches to get by in life. And I wish that on no one. I want everyone to have success. That's why this channel's here. So with that, go ahead and uh, apply on the form, the application below, and we'll get back to you. So with that, my name is Joe Mavu, Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.